Walk like an Egyptian, bitches. We are back with more Paper Mario, and we finally made it to the Dry Dry Ruins where the second Star Spirit is being held. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just dive right into it. And, oh shit. Eh! Did not have to get the first strike off. That's all right. Okay, so these are... What are you called? Pokey Mummies. They're just like regular Pokies, except they poison you. So at the end of each turn, you end up taking one damage, and, uh... You know, a couple episodes ago, I had a theory that Bomb Ed couldn't attack these guys because they're spiky on the side, so let's test that. It was probably a horrible mistake. Yep, I was right, and now I'm fucked. Oh well. Shit. Damn it. Of course, I got the timing wrong. And, uh, huh, that's weird. I thought they poisoned you. Maybe it's just when they attack directly, they do that. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's not attack with Bomb Ed again. That did not go so well. Alright, Cooper is the only one who could do anything here, so let's bring him out. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Wasn't prepared for that for some reason. <laughs> and now he's just ahead. Okay, so yeah, like I said, when they attack directly, I guess, because it didn't happen there, but these, type, these types of Pokies do poison you. But fortunately, unlike something like uh, Pokemon Fire Red, the poison does not last after the battle. So once you win the fight, you do not have to worry about it anymore. And this is really the only enemy I remember vividly from this particular dungeon, so this is gonna go swimmingly, I'm sure. Okay, that's one. Fortunately, just like regular Pokies, they only have two, er, not two, four health. And oh yes! Thank you very much, Fortune Teller Lady. The spell will increase your attack power. Boom! Five damage, instant kill. That's why you go to the Fortune Teller, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, you got the Spike Shield badge. Let's Mario to jump on a spiked enemy without taking damage. Uh should I equip that? Nah, it's not really worth it. I mean, it's not like there aren't other ways I can attack these guys. Oh, yeah, see? There it is. Lasts for three whole turns. That's kind of problematic. But like I said, this doesn't last after the battle, even if you have turns left. Which is good, but between this and my low health, I'm kind of in a jam right now when I've just started. Oh dear. Okay. So, my mistake, all their attacks poison you, it's just random as to when that happens. But we will not have to deal with it much longer. There we go. Well, that said, my health is very low, and I'm only in the first room. Oh, wow. This, to me, seems like a bad omen. But we're gonna power through regardless, that's key, can't get through there. Oh. That was suspiciously easy. Um, okay, yeah, I didn't think there was anything I could do to get up there yet. But it never helps to... It, it, never, help, it never helps to make sure you're wasting your time. No, it never hurts to make sure. Well, still can't talk properly, that's good. At least we're not losing track of a major theme here. Okay. So now, we go back down into this room, and look at that! The ground level has risen, so now we can get into this door. Yippee. Fool! You have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands! Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna be- I'm not planning on becoming part of your mummies alive today, pal. I got other shit to do. Alright. 
And we have another type of enemy, Buzzy Beetles. Pretty much the same thing as Koopas. If you remember the fight with uh, Chan back at the dojo, pretty much the same type of thing. Except these guys are weaker, and that's kind of sad. Of course, as I say that, they're kicking my ass now. Oh god, I forgot I had- I forgot I had the- the fucking sexy sound effect. The quick. That's embarrassing. Alright, well, fortunately these enemies are dropping a lot of hearts. Kinda needed that after... Uh, fighting those pokies. Uh, there's a key, can't get to that. Oh, Christ. I'm warning you right now, everybody. My memory of this dungeon is not spectacular. Oh! oh! <laughs> wow, that was lucky. I didn't even know that was down there. This LP has been full of a lot of accidental encounters. Oh, sweet. Spell will increase my attack power. Hopefully I don't waste it, and I wasted it. Okay. Could've killed him in that one shot, but no. No. No good. Well, can't say I didn't try. Embarrassing as it was. Alright, is the Shell Toss gonna be enough to do this? It's not. God. Damn it. And I don't have the block. I don't have the timing down for that yet either. That's problematic. Please drop more hearts. C clearly I need them at this point. I really should just suck it up and use an item, but... Uh, what can I say? Like a lot of RPG players, I'm really stingy with items. Uh, that's a gray block. Can't do anything about this yet. But not for much longer. Because, spoilers... We are going to be getting a stronger hammer in the Dry Dry Ruins that will be able to break that type of block. Assuming I can remember where that is, which at the moment is not looking likely. Hmm. Oh god, don't tell me I'm stuck already. I really don't want that to be my reality. Huh. Yep. Looks like I'm stuck already. Uh, amazing. Okay. That's alright. It shouldn't take me that long to figure out where to go. At least I'm really hoping it isn't, because my god, I'm only like, what? I'm not even ten minutes into this recording. I really don't want to have to start cutting sh shit out already. Um... Is there a way to get up there using Paracarry? No. Doesn't look it. Or maybe. Oh, yeah, duh, of course it is. Of course it's possible. Don't know why I gave up on that so easily. Okay. That was easy. So now we use Bombat. Alright. Another room where we lower the sand level. Oh god. Starting out with a brain fart already in this. Oh hey, a star piece! Thank you! Speaking of star pieces, I just noticed when I paused that my BP. Well, that my badge points are still like six. I need to do something about that. Alright, here's the key, and now we can get into that bottom room. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna level up my badge points next for sure. Because clearly I need them. One thing I want to get that peekaboo badge that I've hyped up so much, the uh, one that reveals your enemy's HP. Truth be told, I probably could have gotten that by now. But, um, I don't trust any of these coffins. God damn it, for good reason. Oh, Christ. Did I even need to do that? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We leveled up Bombette recently, so now we can use the Power Bomb. Explode and destroy all enemies on the ground. Yes, let's absolutely do that. That sounds like fun. Yeah! Oh, that was such massive overkill, but I don't even care. 
All right. Well, I am pretty close to leveling up, so I will fight all these guys, but I'll do it off screen so you guys don't have to watch me wade through a sea of pokies. So, see you in a bit. Oh, wait, shit, never mind. We have a new enemy type. The, uh... What do they call you? Uh, I don't remember, and I... Okay, I need to switch to Paracarry to attack him, but yes, that is a... Fuck it, let's just call this a bat. That's basically what it is. This is what I was talking about earlier, about enemies that hang from the ceiling. Use one such enemy, and obviously we can't jump on him because one would be hitting our head on the ceiling. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I thought he was attacking Cooper! I was like, oh shit. Um, alright, yeah, change member. So, yes, we, so yes, to get enemies like this, we need the help of a... We need an attack that can hit enemies directly from anywhere. Such as Paracarry Skydive! Which... <laughs> oh, man. This is why I equip the close call badge, folks. Alright, what are you actually called? Swooper? Ah, oh, fuck you. I'm gonna keep calling you a Zubat. You're a Zubat with a clown nose. Shut up. You don't know. You don't know shit. Fuck. Wow, I do not like how this is shaping up at all. Am I just gonna have to use an item? Actually, you know what I could do? I could just use Refresh. Yeah, fuck it, let's just do that. Thank you very much, Mr. Manstar! There, 5 HP, 5 FP. And, um... Hmm. Let's use Shell Shot on the Swooper, because that's the only thing Paracarry can do anyway. I could hit him with just a Skydive, but I kind of want to kill at least one enemy this turn. Receive my damn it! Fuck! Oh no. Oh, that's problematic. Oh shit. Okay, I might have wasted a turn. Oh god, uh, Bombat, I need your help. Like, now. Damn it. Oh my god. Uh, I'm trying not to use items because I'm going to be leveling up soon, so it's like... It's going to be pointless pretty soon, but I might have to. Because I'm still like 15 star points away from leveling up. Oh Christ, this is not looking good. Okay. Thank you, close call patch. Oh lord. Okay, we beat him. That's good. Six star points. Oh god. I really don't want to have you have to use up an item when I'm so close to leveling up, but I think I'm just far away enough from getting that level up that I'm going to have to, otherwise I'll die. And I really don't want that. Alright, well, all the enemies in this room are dead, so we don't have to worry about that for a little bit. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, we changed the stairs. Uh, we'll be seeing a lot of pu we'll be seeing a couple puzzles like this in this dungeon where you have to change the uh, order of the stairs or order of the stairs now the angle of the steps. The angle of the steps is what I meant to say. There's gonna be a couple puzzles where we have to like navigate around that stuff, and we want that item up there, but we still don't have the correct hammer. But, um, is that all? I feel like there's something else we're supposed to do in this room. It has to be. Do we have the key for this? We do. Okay. Let's see, uh, fly across this repair carry. Hang on, let's see what's down here first. Uh, Buzzy Beetle. Do I want to risk it? Eh, fuck it, let's go. Oh, Christ, that's a lot of Buzzy Beetles. Shit, 
I might have made a terrible mistake. Uh, well, I did not bring a lot of items into this with me. That might have been a bad idea. Oh dear. Um. Wow. Regrets. I've had a few. Fuck it, I'm running. I bit off more than I chew. Like way more. Ugh. Wow, I am not in a good position right now. Yeah, 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 I see you down there, freaking out. Shut up. Turn back, thief! Your time is running out! If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble! I do not lie, you will! Yeah, 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 yeah. You're real scary, Mr. Disembodied Voice. Um. Okay, so we go down here. Oh. Hmm. This has I'm not supposed to be here yet written all over it, so I'm gonna see what that other door was that I need pair carry to reach. Okay. Remember those little chain town statues in the background, kitties? That's gonna be important. Oh wait! <laughs> I somehow didn't notice this. What secrets are you hiding? This looks like something I don't want to be a part of. That's great. Woo! Oh, we did want that. Oh, we really wanted that! We got another power block! Which party member do you want to upgrade? Ooh, uh, let's see. Ooh, who do I want to upgrade? Um, hmm. It's tied between Cooper and Paracarry. Um, hmm. Which one? Uh, you know what? Let's go with Paracarry. Yeah, sure. Alright, Paracarry is upgraded. So now he does more damage, and he has the airlift, which can carry an enemy away from the battle. And if I remember correctly, the action command for that particular attack works like running away. So you have to mash the A button to get the to get the blue bar to raise up. And if the... And there's like a little sliding arrow, so... Like I said, it's just like running away. You have to get the sliding arrow like within the vicinity of the blue bar. And you mash the A button to make that blue bar bigger. And I don't want to fuck with you! Oh shit! Oh no 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 no! 